So in our next Living Focus programme, we're going to continue to um, demonstrate the continuity of that in a southerly direction. It's really significant for the UK. Hello to those tuning in to the Assay TV. We're on day two of our London Mining Investment event. I am delighted to be joined by Sally Norcross Webb, the founder and CEO of Cornish Tin. So welcome, Sally. Thank you. Great to have you here. Just for those people who aren't as familiar with the company, can you give us a bit of a background? Of course. Well, we're a, a team of two directors, myself, chief executive and founder of the company, and Clive Newell, who's our chairman, well known in the mining world as the um, founder of First Quantum Minerals, taking it from a startup to the top six global copper company it is today. We have a, a great team of young, talented geologists headed by Ryan Hitchens, our exploration manager. So as we've just said off camera, we love to see a UK-based project too. It's actually one of the rarer ones around the world. Let's jump into it. Your great real wall project has just completed phase two of a 2,810 metre drill programme. Can you talk us through the strategy for that? Yeah, we've in total drilled around nine and a half thousand metres, but you're quite right. Our phase two drill programme was that meterage. It was split roughly between tin focused holes and lithium focused holes. Uh, and it's, it's been very successful. We've actually made globally significant discoveries of both hard rock, lithium and high grade tin, which is great. Of course. Do you have any of the highlights there for those drill results or? Yes. Um, in fact, in June this year, um, we won the Discovery of the Year Award at the UK Mining Conference in mm. Cornwall, really off the back of our tin results that we had at that time. And for example, a, a, a particular highlight was the uh, discovery of a new, previously undiscovered, mineralised tin zone beneath the wheel of historic workings, which in their day were incredibly high grade. They were averaging a, a production grade of around 3.5% tin, peaking at over 5.5% tin. And we found exactly where our geologists thought it would be, a new mineralised zone, uh, which is really significant. It's potentially three times the size of the Great Wheel of Ore historic workings. So as you've just said, you've identified this major conceptual tin target. What are the next steps there in terms of drilling? Well, we're now raising three million pounds to drill phases three and four. So we're going to drill out some of our most exciting tin targets early in 2025. And we're also going to um, continue to demonstrate the extent and continuity of this new lithium field that we discovered. All right, I was going to get on to that. It's not all about tin. We've got lithium there too. Um, what are you going to do to explore that further? Of all the granite outcrop in Cornwall, only 1.4% is lithium-enriched G5 granite. And we have 54% of that in the Trigonin granite underlying our project area. So we first intercepted this new lithium field in 2022 at the end of our phase one programme. So in our next lithium focused programme, we're going to continue to um, demonstrate the continuity of that in a southerly direction. It's really significant for the UK. Some big, uh, big few months are coming up for that, certainly. Yeah. So let's look at the broader picture. Tin, in terms of pricing, it's held up pretty strongly compared to other base metals. Do you see this continuing as we enter towards 2025? So, yes, we do think that tin has a very strong future. We, we believe it's very overlooked. It's the best performing of all the base metals this year. And for a long time, it's been the best performing of all commodities this year. Uh, it's being driven by climate change. There's a huge demand. It's a very small market, around 400,000 tonnes a year. Um, and AI and tech is further driving that surge in demand. We are confident that it will be in deficit by 2028. Uh, and I think that the tin price will continue to rise pretty steadily. Yeah. Excellent. Well, just as a roundup to our interview, can you highlight some milestones for our investors to look out for? Sure. Well, I think 2025 is going to be a very exciting year for Cornish Tin. Um, we're going to be publishing our Jork exploration target report on our lithium asset quite shortly, probably before the end of this year. Um, but look out for our drilling results next year uh, and we're advancing both tin and lithium in parallel so there should be some very interesting results. That certainly sounds it. Well thank you so much for spending some time with us today Thanks. and I'll let you get back to your very big meeting schedule. Thank you.